Good. So during the plenary, what I try to do is convey three key messages. The one is to say that, as we know, the world faces great challenges and society increasingly expects science to actually help solve these, not just understand them, but solve these problems. And we're talking about hyper complex, highly coupled problems. This challenge puts pressure on science to reinvent itself and its contract with society. The response to this needs to be global and it needs strength and collaboration within and between the scientific community, the world of policy and business and the public at large. The final point is to say that we see concrete responses to this kind of challenge from the scientific community. But we need to, as policy makers, as international organizations like the International Council for Science, we need to work harder at making it possible to create enabling environments to support scientists in doing this. Those were my three key messages. Sure. So open science for me means new, inclusive, diverse and integrated approaches to the production and use of solutions-oriented knowledge. Um, and it has several dimensions. I think the first is to really understand this is a global effort, so we need to bring in scientific perspectives, conceptions, um, work from all parts of the world. Secondly, we really need to reinvigorate the collaboration between scientific fields and disciplines, particularly, for example, between the natural and social sciences. Thirdly, we need to understand that openness is not only about um, uh, applied or policy relevant research, if we're talking about solutions, it's about including every approach to science, so from fundamental to applied, from quantitative to qualitative methodologies. And then, th and then finally and very importantly, there's a sense in which research needs to engage more with other knowledge partners, not only in terms of delivering the results of, of research, but actually engaging with societal partners, with decision makers, with business players, with uh, citizens, with, with activists, in designing and co-producing the knowledge. So we, we're asking science to get engaged with other forms of knowledge. Um, in networks of collaborative learning and problem solving. And of course the engine to, to all of this, the engine of open science is an absolutely fundamental condition, is that we have open access and open data. Well, for the International Council of Science, one of its biggest flagship initiatives that really tries to take all these dimensions of open science forward is um, a new global research platform on global sustainability called Future Earth. It was established in 2012, um, brings together and has merged decades of global environmental change programming at the international level and it is a program that is co-sponsored um, co with the International Social Science Council, with a group of global funders as well as a number of UN agencies. So in many ways it it exemplifies this kind of um, open science approach. It looks at interdisciplinarity, transdisciplinarity, in other words, the engagement with users. Um, it, it takes open data issues very seriously, and it's very much geared towards um, making sure that science, technology, and innovation helps to achieve the sustainable development goals. You know, it always strikes me that in these kinds of shifts that we're asking for from the scientific community towards more engagement with society, more engagement across disciplines, that it's the early career scientists that really get, get the importance of this and um, they're excited about it. They, um, so we, we look towards early career scientists to help us promote this agenda, to become much more engaged in the, these kinds of activities. But it's also very clear that we need to make it possible for them to do so. It's not always, you know, they have to make careers for themselves. And that means that they still have to work in their disciplinary silos. They still have to publish in their disciplinary journals. It's not interesting in terms of career advancement often for them to get engaged in these new approaches to or open science approaches. And we need to ensure that they are supported um, adequately valued and rewarded for doing that kind of work.